So this is the morning after podcast session. Boom. Night. Uh, late night last night. Editing and yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going up to Auckland for an Arctic Edge event. Yeah, we're gonna go um, sit on some ice. That sounds. Yeah. Do Gina was looking up on online, and apparently yeah. you're only allowed in there for thirty minutes. For real? That's yeah, two hour that's event. that's how long your body can handle it. Apparently, like. Well, I wonder how long the PSPs can handle it. Osh regulations. So, like, what are they gonna, if two hour events? So they're gonna like tell us to go outside for ten minutes every half hour. Yeah, you guys gonna have to go outside. <laughs> can I save my game? No. <laughs> so, and then and then we're checking out ODSC. Odst. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that's gonna be like a five hour. Yeah, well, they, I think we'll be playing through the whole campaign, and right. then also um, a bit of firefight. Right. And um, that's for the review, though, so you won't hear anything about it at the end of this video. Right. That's that's purely for the review, which will go up probably in a couple of days, depending on the embargo. I've got a sideline to talk about. Um, I thought Bubble Bubble was going to be shit. Yeah, okay, and it's... It is, seems alright, so that's one thing. But on that note... Arcade games that came out last night were Bubble Bobble and Red Alert 3 Commander's Challenge. Red Alert 3? Yeah, Xbox Live Arcade. Really? Yeah. Was that good or was that crap? Honestly, I don't know because it's 2.1 gigabytes. Really? Yeah. What the hell? Like this is this this is craziness. For, for 1200 points, like that's a lot of value for money, gigabyte wise. <laughs> But it's at the point where, like, you, one of the issues with the Xbox Live Arcade demo is that you're not downloading a demo, you're downloading the full game in a locked form. So you download the whole thing, but I don't know if I want to, like... That's a lot of data. Maybe one of us should download it and, like, invite everyone else over to find out if it's any good. Well, it won't be me because I don't have space on my hard drive. Right. I only so have 500 megabytes left. So, well, I mean, so you're, you're not interested either way. No, I'm you? not. Yeah, so. I can't afford the space on my 20 gig hard drive. 20 gigs. Yeah. But you know what's coming out? A 250 gig hard drive? No. No? An Xbox 360 Modern Warfare console with a 250 gigabyte oh, hard yeah, drive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, it's not going to be sold separately. Well, I, I don't imagine it would. Really? Because like, it would be a bazillion dollars! Oh, well, that's... Bill Gates would be able to afford it. <laughs> no one else. Right. And he doesn't need it. So he's got like a 5 terabyte drive on his 360 and he's like, look at me bitches. It's like, look at me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, so given that we're um, going into like the Arctic regions of Auckland, I thought we'd get some spice. And yeah, so we um, stopped in at the uh, Mexican Food and gifts. Food and gifts place, which is um, Mex called Mexican Specialties. What do you think, Logger? Good. Pretty good, eh? Yeah. Tasty meat. Mm. Good, good times. And um, that's actually the real reason we came up today. So, yeah, worth it. More on that on foodology. Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, guess we'll go. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you going to your Mexican restaurant today? Boys? Already been there. Yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah. What's the deal? So uh, it's really good. We're at the communist party. <laughs> communist party with a uh, friend of Button Masher, Legatron. Killed it. It's going. Yeah. Game console magazine writer. Hey Brian. Hey. It's pretty cold in Auckland today, isn't it? It's freezing up here, man. It's like the we I watched the weather this morning, and they said that it might be like a southerly. Or a normally, I don't know, like the one that's cold. With a good chance of ice. Yeah. So, um, I don't know whose idea this was, but... Um, it's impossible to play this game. Like, my, my mittens... i tell you what, the camera operation is not easy either. No, these mittens... Yes. Uh, ah. Oh well. Arctic Edge, what do you think? Uh, pretty cool. I'd like to have another crack at it without the gloves on. Um, I think um, if I'm able to apply the brake and the boost... Oh, I'm right, yeah. So wait, wait, wait. You think that using brakes and um, boost is going to help you play that game? Well, it's what I'm saying for now. No, <laughs> get back to me after I try it without gloves. What he's saying is that I won the glove challenge <laughs> for Arctic Edge. Yeah. Um, the, the review, of, uh, our review... Spark, is yeah, Sparky's already, Spark already been thrashing it for the last yeah. week or two. And he's, 
he asked, what is another word for awesome or something, so that means it's good. Do you have a non-alcoholic cocktail? Yes, I can make you a mocktail if you like. Awesome. I'll Would have one like of those. something tropical? Um, sure. It feels nice and tropical here. Yeah. <laughs> Although with alcohol, it's probably going to freeze pretty quick, won't it? It looked promising. Like, as I say, I genuinely would like to try it without the gloves. Um, it seems like it would be really cool. So, um, I'm all over it, man. Elderly. So we're um, going to have a gloves challenge here. Put the gloves on, duke it out. First to the finish line wins. We've got. Um, it's not a good sign. Can't get into the game. Got Legatron from Game Console. Got Wagga from Hamilton. And we've got Daban from um, the Real Groove. And they're going to um, battle it out here. For glove supremacy. What? To finish it off, to like tail this story off, um, who was like coming first between you and Real Groove writer Day? Uh, I was leading convincingly <laughs> for the first two or three laps, and then um, after an unfortunate series of events, uh, Wagga oh. passed me, and then Day managed to pass me in the final lap, and I did not finish. I was coming last somewhere in the beginning, yeah. yeah. Um, we need a clip from Vin, Vin Diesel saying, doesn't matter if, it, if it's by an inch or by a mile, winning's winning. Okay. What? I don't think people will be able to tell the difference, to be honest. <laughs> Shut up. Like, why'd they splice in that, that Fast and the Furious clip?